Hey everybody, this is John with Aperture Digital and I just wanted to do a quick demo of the Brix Forge Pro Form side by side with the Brix Extras dynamic chart and what you can do here. I'll do a more in-depth tutorial about what I'm trying to build for some of my metric keeping. Uh, currently all this data is going into a Google Sheet and I just thought this would be a great use case to try to rebuild that uh, using Bricks and making that available outside of, of Google Sheets and inside of Bricks and WordPress. So we have a pro form here with some general information and this dynamic chart here is gonna be displaying the monthly clicks for a website uh, for each month. I believe Bricks Extras came out and said they're gonna update this to have uh, more tool tips and labels and just a better overall design, but for a proof of concept, here's what's happening. So when you set this up, all this data goes to a custom post type, and then it'll display pretty quickly right on the front end. So let's see what that looks like here. So here it is on the front end, and all you really have to do is add your data and then it should pop up over here on refresh. So uh, we're gonna do the next month. So I log uh, monthly metrics on the first of each month for different SEO projects. So we're gonna use that. And then we'll do something like 12,000 visitors that month, 15,000 page views, 700 Amazon clicks, I don't know, 250 Amazon orders with a whopping $352.55 in commissions. So we'll send that over, refresh the page, and we should see that new bar pop up right here. I mean, this is awesome. I got so excited when I watched this uh, tutorial about the Bricks Forge Pro Form, and I just couldn't wait to dive in because this makes it really quick and easy to manage you know, data. Uh, you could do anything you wanted to with this type of functionality. Hop on over to the back end here. And the way that I have it set up is to just put these posts in this you know, custom post type I called conversions, you know, whatever, clicks, whatever you wanna call it. And then I set the post title to just be the date. Um, you kind of have to be careful because if you duplicate data, you have to manage that and clean it up. But, you know, this is a nice use case on how all of this could work. Um, I'll briefly let you see this and then we'll walk through it again later in a more detailed uh, tutorial. But generally, you set it up to publish a new post type, you select your post type. And then my post title's coming from the custom field that's date. And then you map the custom fields down with this custom fields uh, dialog here. And you just have your custom fields name with your custom fields value. Sorry, you have your custom fields name with your form field value. Uh, so pop up over here to fields. It'll have the field ID. I put together a quick little text document where I was like thinking how this was gonna work. So here's my visitors uh, on this field here. That's the form ID, that's the custom field name, and you just map them together. I, it could not be any more simple than that. Action, you wanna set to create new post for your action. You can choose all these other actions, but for this use case, I'm using create new post and then yeah, map your custom fields here. Uh, really fun, and then this again is Bricks Extra's uh, dynamic chart. So these two softwares, Bricks Forge, Bricks Extra's, I think just make your stack so powerful. You can do anything you want <laughs> with this uh, stack right here. So uh, thanks everyone at the Bricks uh, Forge team for putting this together and uh, Stay on the lookout for a more detailed tutorial coming up. Thanks.